Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope that wherever you are on the planet today that you're having a beautiful day. It's gorgeous here in North Texas. I just went in and told the proprietor of this juice place to give me the slurriest, thickest, greenest, no sugary -est, nutritionally dense <laughs> green juice that she could possibly give to me plus also add a shot of turmeric cayenne lemon and ginger and that is exactly what she did please hold i'm trying to essentially just saturate myself with high vibration foods and this is such a cool place because they also sell things like kimchi that they make and um, they also sell microgreens, so I, I grab a bag of microgreens, I take it home and make a big salad at night with all kinds of really beautiful vegetables and a whole avocado because that's so good for your brain. And I, that's all I've been eating. It's, I've just been eating this stuff. Sorry about my voice, guys. Excuse me, I've been under such physical stress. I'm a Taurus. My friend Lauren Antofermo just pointed out, girl, you're a Taurus which rules the throat. And so when things are kind of hard and there's pressure in your life, like that's gonna show up in your voice. And so that's super normal. And in the thyroid, and I've had th thyroid problems, but pardon me, that's why I'm here. I'm here to pump my body with nutrition and I'm being super extra, duper mindful about just taking care of myself and loving myself, like actively thinking about myself in a loving way, thinking about, my body specific body parts in a loving way just i talked to you a little bit about this yesterday but the audio was terrible it blew so i want to talk about it again because i want to put a really fine point on it how important it is to understand that the physical body is the best friend that any of us will ever have in our entire life because the physical body is with us from the time of conception, right? Starts building and forming and, and creating the light body in our mommy's womb. And the physical body remains with us until we take our last breath. The physical body is constantly in an act of love. It's constantly loving us by supporting us and facilitating our experiences. As I said yesterday, our knees, our legs have been allowing us to walk around this planet where we get to have experiences and meet new people. Our eyes have allowed us to take in the most beautiful vistas and panoramic views and to read and to learn. Our mouth has allowed us to communicate with folks, loved ones, people, ourselves, our heart. I love to talk about our heart, it's so powerful. Our heart has been beating nonstop since we were first kissed into existence. Our heart has been beating on our behalf. And one thing I like to say about the heart is like, we didn't have to earn it. Do you know what I mean? We didn't have to put it in order and pay a lot of money for it. We just got this faithful servant, our heart, which also happens to be the spiritual and metaphysical gateway to our higher consciousness and our higher self. And we were just given that as a gift. All this, this entire system of our body is a beautiful, loving, supportive gift. And yet we find ourselves falling out of alignment with it. We find ourselves forgetting about the body. It's so easy. Take it from me. I talk about this stuff and yet I enter into a season of my life where things get hard and I'm under the gun and I've got like physical labor happening, which <laughs> rude. And also lots of mental stuff going on. I've got classes and I've got programs. I've got clients and students and I also have contracts and I've got all kinds of stuff going on in my mind and my brain and my spirit and in my body there's so much happening right now and I like so many others just began to forget about my body all those trips back and forth between the two houses one and a half hours each way so three hours each time and sometimes I did that twice in a day like all that we have in the rural community is a gas station okay so let's just roll on into a gas station get a hot dog and like a, a sweet tea or something just so that we can keep going and day after day week after week of course this piles up and not just in pounds how dare you 
not just in pounds, but in energy, in energy. And, and what we really need to understand is the food that we eat, the things that we ingest, the water, the substances, all that we take into the body, we put into the body affects the entire life. The more I'm eating Whataburger, which is a big thing in Texas, I don't get it, but the more I'm eat, stopping at Whataburger to get whatever I'm getting, just in order to have some fuel or sustenance, that adds up, that becomes a low vibration. It makes everything harder. It makes the refrigerator I'm trying to move harder. It makes all the, all the projects that I'm working a little bit harder. It makes my thinking a little bit cloudier. It really does begin to affect everything. It starts showing up in relationships because bad food, negative food equals cranky crystal and cranky crystal's not super happy to be super happy, you know? And so I'm right now in the process of just trying to self-correct and do that very quickly just by just doing nothing but high vibration foods, which I've been doing for several days now. But mainly I'm doing this from a spirit of awareness and thankfulness for my body. Our bodies are the most powerful psychic instrument that we have, not just the best friend, but the most powerful psychic instrument that we have. Do you know that your body is always talking to you? It is. It's always talking to you. When somebody says, oh, I, I, in my gut, I feel like I shouldn't do that. Well, that's your body talking to you. When you walk into a new space and you feel something in your stomach or you feel something in your heart or you feel like a bad feeling, that's happening in your body. When spirit is giving you messages or guidance or inspiration, it's coming through and being filtered through the psychic instrument of your body. There's a reason, my friends, that avatars and sacred texts have referred to the body as a temple for surely that is exactly what it is. And the body responds to us. Did you know that? The body responds to the words of our mouth. The body responds to the way that we think. It listens to us. It's a synergistic organism. Of course it is. Mind, body, spirit. But within the body itself, there are so many different synergetic processes at work, all of which work in perfect collaboration and concert with the other. And they listen to each other. The body listens to us, the mind. The body listens to the emotions. But what we need to understand here is that the body doesn't just passively listen. It's not just like eavesdropping. Oh, Crystal's eating that Whataburger again. Crystal's feeling bad about that. Or Crystal's having bad thoughts. Crystal's stressed out. It's not just a passive observer. Rather, the body takes this information, wherever it's coming in from, mind or processes or conditions and, and spaces. It takes this information that you generate as a directive. What's a directive? A directive is an instruction. And so if I'm walking around saying, I feel like shit, or I'm, I'm getting old, man, or shoot, my knee hurts, my body takes that as instruction and perpetuates it. Because in working with us, it really rises up to meet what it is our intention is. And if we're not conscious, see, of what we're thinking, if we're not conscious of what we're saying, by your mouth are you ensnared. By your mouth and your words are you ensnared. Are you brought into justification or are you condemned? You do that through your mouth. The body makes it so. The body is one of the greatest manifestors. And if what is reflected in the thoughts is healing and wellness and abundance and beautiful slurry of green juice to heal and love all my organs and to just satisfy me. If that's what I'm thinking about, and I am, well, that's what the body is going to take as an instruction. And the body's going to align to that. And the body's going to rise up to meet that and match that indeed, which means in health and in action. The process is reflected. Do you see how important it is? First of all, it's important to understand that your body is with you. We got to take care of it. We can't let it fall to the wayside. It's so easy to do that. Second, we need to understand that the body's listening. The body is always like, hey, I'm your partner. I'm partnering with you. Did you know I'm partnering with you? Did you know I'm standing right here creating everything with you? 
Because if you knew that, you might be more intentional about what you did, what you said, what you thought, and what you felt. Because if you get those things into alignment, that's going to show up in my body. That's going to show up in your body. I'm your temple. I'm your partner. I'm your emissary. That's what the body is. Do you want to heal your body? Then think healing thoughts. Believe healing things about yourself, about your life. If you want to heal your body, bring yourself into a place of power and strength. That's something I need to do. Hitting 50, right? I'm cognizant about, whoa, I need to be stronger. I need to be able to lift a refrigerator. I can't do that. My husband can. I can't do that. But I I need to be stronger. I don't want to be one of these 80-year-old people who are just hunched over and just barely walking around walking along I want to be the 80 old 80 year old person in the Iron Man never going to do an Iron Man but you know what I'm saying I want to be strong and I want to be clear in my head I want to I want to take care of what has been given to me so generously the gift of this body and so I speak to my body let's speak to our body and say thank you body for all that you've done for me thank you heart for every single beat Thank you, lungs, for allowing me to breathe this air and to continue to live. Thank you, knees. Thank you for propelling me through this life. Thank you, feet. Thank you, toes. Thank you, hands, for allowing me to pick up my child or to touch my lover. Thank you, liver, for processing all those glasses of wine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you mean that feel that you know the body soaks it up the body receives that oh it soaks it up like I'm soaking this up please hold the body needs it the body needs it and so I just want to take a moment to say thank you thank you body thank you God in me thank you divine nature that is housed within this body it's not really housed within it. It's non-local, but there's a conduit. It's the spirit, and that's all wrapped up in the intricate, sophisticated mainframe of the body. Thank you, body. I'm so glad that you do everything that you have done for me, and I speak healing into you, and I speak alignment into you, and I speak that into alignment for you, anybody listening. A healing in your body. Yes, say, I want that. Yes, say it with your words. As a man speaks, so he is. Anything you believe upon, it will be yours. And I speak this healing into you. And I also speak this freedom into you so that you can get really clear, really clear about the synergetic nature of the mind-body-spirit and how the mind is always talking to the body. And you can get really clear and aware at the narratives that you're running in your mind that your body is taking as instructions so that you can start to redesign how you're thinking so the body can start showing you something better, something higher, something that serves you even more. Serve the body, my friend, and the body will serve you as well. And so it is. Amen. Amen is just a word we say. It seals the deal Mwah! with a kiss. Amen and amen. I got nothing but love for you, honey. At all. I want to end by just inviting anybody who has not subscribed yet. Drop down and subscribe. Hit that bell. Let's stay connected. You'll be notified uh, of my next video. And if you would, share my videos. I'm trying to put some light out there and connect a community of light workers who are here to make a difference. And um, the bigger the community the bigger the difference. So let's do this together. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. Talk to you later.